So, who have we got on the show today? Today we have Quinn. Quinn is a lovely young woman who I'm fortunate enough to know her whole life. Uh, at the age of about three, she told us that she was trans and I thought she was incredibly brave. And we have her here today to talk about her story. Thank you. Um, it's lovely being here today. Um, you all look very nice today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So it must be, it's very insightful to be so self-aware at the age of three. Can you tell us a little bit about that and sort of how you recognise that in yourself? Well, um, I kind of started wanting to get makeup and dresses and um, from a few people that we know pretty well they gave um, me this beautiful fairy dress which I loved for ages and they gave me a few Barbies and a few toys like that mm. and that really made me happy and then I told my mum what I found about me. Um, so when you were first starting to look for uh, female toys to play with. Did you have a sister to play with or any toys at home that you could already access? No, because um, I had a brother yep. named Arden who I love very dearly and um, yeah he mostly had things I didn't really want to play with like cars and monster trucks. So how did you go about finding toys to play with? Well I asked my mum yep. and then we got some things like some dresses and Barbies and things like yeah. that from people we know yep. who um, have girls and um, yeah, that's how. And how'd, how'd your mum feel? Was she good about getting you yep. girls toys? she was really, really good, yep. So you started this journey for yourself at, at around age three, you started recognising that. When did you sort of come out? Did you do a, a coming out as such? At home, they kind of all knew, but at school I kind of just stayed. So like I would have my school uniform and I'd come home and just put on a dress. So how did that make you feel, going to school and, and having to pretend to be a boy? Yeah, it was, um, well, it was pretty interesting. But then at the start of grade one, I um, had a little chat with my principal. And then we did some things and um, we told the class and stuff. And then um, we changed my, like, um, admin, like, to female and what tours I go to. And, um like camp and stuff. Did you feel like your classmates were supportive of that? Definitely, because um, my good friends who came to my house already kind of knew. Yeah. So yeah, they definitely were really supportive. What about the people at school that you weren't friends with? Some of them kind of already knew, um, but some were a bit s surprised. Can you recall any experiences that were a little bit difficult to navigate? at the school? Um, well, some people didn't agree and they were a bit not nice at first. And when you say people, are they teachers or students or um, families? Students. Of, yeah. Some students. Okay. How did you manage that? Well, I kind of tried to ignore them and um, most of the teachers are really good and they like knew. And, um, but I kind of just ignored them and said, well, it's not your body, it's mine. When you first came out and you were telling people that you were, were a, a girl and you had to go and talk about it with your doctors and stuff like that, um, were they receptive? Did you get a good response when you were talking to them? Well, um, the doctor I had, like the GP I had at the time was a bit concerned because of the country he came from and what, um, like religious stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But so it we, didn't kind of fit in with his beliefs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we did move to another female GP. Yeah. Who was lovely. So the GP that you've moved to, is she trans informed? Like, does she have some awareness around the needs of trans people? Yeah, she's had. Um, she told us that she's had a few in the past, which is really good, and that's what we're looking for. Mm. How have you found the resources? Because we live a fair way out of the city. Do you have to travel for any treatments? Um, well, I go to the World Children's Hospital about once or twice a year yeah. um, with a um, lovely doctor um, um, who was like in the trans part of the World Children's Hospital um, and she like can't, we went to her and we would like explain a lot of stuff, what's happening at school, what's happening at home and then she would like follow it up and fix it and stuff. 
Mm. So she gave you support at school. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what sort of hobbies and interests do you have? Well, um, I do swimming and drama. At first, um, swimming was pretty okay with it. Like, they kind of knew at first, like, it wasn't really much of a change, except for what type of babies I wore. And then there was drama, um, which you can be whoever you want in drama, so they kind of already just knew. So that mm-hmm. <laughs> was fine. And my drama teacher's lovely. I can't imagine you doing drama at all. <laughs> <laughs> so Quinn, can you tell us what's been one of the standout highlights for the last couple of years? Um, definitely the Pride match. Um, it was a very, very good experience. Like, um, I went with my mum and my dad and we loved it. Um, we met Georgie Stone, who um, is a real big person I look up to. Awesome. It was really fun. There was um, sparkles and signs and glitter and everything. Crazy outfits and so much fun. Yeah, and what was the crowd like? Um, very nice. Like, they would have like their flags, like their rainbow flags and everything. So you just mentioned Georgie Stone as a role model. Um, Can you tell us a bit more about why you look up to her and who else is a role model for you? Well, um, Georgie Stone, I look up to her because she was like the one that kind of made it fair in Australia. Um, Because she went to court and battled for her and all that stuff, which is really good. She battled for getting um, hormones and stuff. So um, I wouldn't be who I am right now without her. So that's why she's a really big role model because she just technically made me me. So your your future plans that you really want to go on hormones and she yeah. went and she got legislation changed to say that. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And then I also want to mention Evie McDonald, who's also a really good role model who was on the TV like mini series first day. Mm. Um, um, yeah, she's a really good role model too. Do you have any thoughts or advice that you like to tell other young trans people who are coming out and transitioning? It doesn't matter what other people say. Like, um, it, just ignore them. Yeah. Um, and you should definitely be you. You follow your passion and you follow you. You should um, make sure that you have the right supportive people around you. Like, check with your family and friends. Um, and, like, teachers and doctors and GPs and stuff and then hopefully they'll be really supportive. Well, and I also have amazing friends, Willow, Olivia and Aria, who are also really supportive um, to me. Um, And I've known them for ages. Like, I've known Olivia since we're little babies because like we lived near each other and we would always play with each other and stuff. And then I've known Willow because her big brother was friends with my big brother and I've, also known Ari for ages and ages because um but sadly she moved so we're all gender diverse here and we know that it can be really we can have some tough days out there in the world because not everybody is accepting what kind of things do you do to help yourself and look after yourself well i'd be kind to myself i don't hate myself i just be really kind and i want to give some advice that you should be kind to yourself and it doesn't matter what other people say you block them out and you just be you just yeah. be kind to yourself. What do you do that's kind to yourself? Um, um, I say that I'm beautiful for who I am, um, I, and um, I love myself yeah. for who I am, yeah. Finally, what would be the one thing that stands out to you as the best thing about being you? I get to just do what I've always wanted to do, just be me. Oh yeah, um, I'd like to thank my parents, my friends and my family for being so supportive, like all my grandparents. Um, I'd like to thank my mum and dad and my brothers for being so supportive and there when I need them. So Eli and I would like to thank you for being on our show. And here's a little chocolate, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Queen. Thanks, thanks.